Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are discussing the way to create Thyssen's polygon from meteorological stations in close proximity to the catchment of our choice. You might know that Thyssen's polygon method is used in hydrology to calculate the mean precipitation within a catchment or watershed from the meteorological stations in and around that watershed. So to calculate the mean precipitation, you will need the rainfall data. You can get them from your respective meteorological departments. But in this video, I am going to show you how to calculate the respective areas of Thyssen's polygon in ArcMap. So to start, you'll need a watershed. You need to prepare a watershed. Then you need to extract or import the points of the meteorological stations in coordinates. So I already have that prepared. I'm going to add that data. As you can see, these are my meteorological stations near my watershed. Now, what you have to do is extract or export this data first into a shape file okay as you can see this is my exported data now what you have to do is simply go to analysis tools go to proximity and you can see create Tyson's polygons click that input the feature which is the export 11 here and then you have to go to the environments so this uh, helps you in the processing extent to what extent you need the polygon so I'm gonna put my to same as display it doesn't matter what you put I'm gonna get a broader extent in this way as my display here you can see so if I say okay okay and there you go these are the Tyson's polygon for those meteorological stations now what you can do is hollow it out and you can see the catchment as well now what you have to do is convert these uh, polygons to raster so they can clip the raster within this watershed extent for that go to conversion tool go to to raster and polygon to raster so my input feature in this case is export artful 11 create Tyson and there you go and it creates a raster profile of this polygon and you can see clearly now what you have to do is clip so go to search you can see clip type in clip and go to data management and my input raster is the this and my output extent will be my watershed and there you go okay and there you go I have clipped the polygons within my watershed now what you can do is uh, convert this raster to polygon so that I can calculate the area so now you can see these are the areas associated with the meteorological stations here so you can see the brown part is associated with this station and the blue part is associated with this so now you need to find the areas to find the areas you have to convert this raster into polygons so from raster to polygon if you use toolbox input the raster which is export 11 this is 2 okay there you go I converted it into a polygon now I can find the area 
So to find the area first, you have to fix the coordinate system. Go to layer, right click, the properties, and within properties, go to coordinate system, go to projected coordinate system, UTM, WGS 1984, Northern Hemisphere, and my catchment lies in the UTM zone 45. So, okay, if I do that, it changes the coordinate system. Now, you can find the areas of your polygons or your associated catchment. First, in the point, I'll just show you the polygons. There you go. Now, go to attribute table of the raster and you can see these are the attribute tables we go to add field so that you can add let's say thigh sense poly given the name go to double okay now you can calculate the area go to calculate geometry so it's set an area you can find whatever you want but Tyson's polygon needs area so area it is and in square kilometer or square meters that's your choice press ok and there you go now you'll, you'll need to know which catchment or which area is associated with the meteorological station you can of course see this is associated there you go see it's selected associated with this this is associated with this and in that way you can find the areas and if you put uh, rainfall data into the season polygon method you can find the mean precipitation easily there you go this is how you create seasons polygon in ArcGIS thank you